Hello. Today I'd like to teach you a little bit about a word prediction piece of software called WordQ. It's intended for people who struggle with writing. Well, let's go through this now. Check to make sure that WordQ is on your computer. It, it looks like this. It may be in this menu or under all programs look for WordQ. When you see it, open it up. If you don't, you can request uh, someone to come install it on your computer in your room. First thing that comes up is a word queue window. And right now, this small window is what appears. Maybe the first time, what will come up is this window. This is where you set up a new user. Let's do that first. When you click next, up comes the countries. This is, uh, you have a choice of Canadian. UK or US. Elementary and middle, you may want to start with US Starter. There are less words in the dictionary that it uses, more powerful for younger students. If you're at the middle or high school, you may want to choose Intermediate or Advanced. For today, we'll choose Starter. Now we get to make a name of a user. So I have used Greg. You could type in a name, Sally, Bob, Ann, whoever the student is. All right. And once that happens, well, it'll take you to WordQ. Here we go. I'm going to go with Greg. Even the name shows up on top of the window. WordQ is meant to be used with a word processor or a field on a computer like email where you could type something. It's supposed to help someone write. So we'll use, and most often you will use, a word processor like Microsoft Word in our district. So what we're going to do right now is show you how it works. As soon as you start to type, um, let's say I want to start a sentence with the word, the letter today, uh, letter T for today. Let's make that much bigger, shall we? You can't see that. All right. On WordQ, make sure that the speech is turned on. It'll be highlighted. And the words are also highlighted. All right. And that way, you'll know it's going to be working. So we, again, type a letter, capital T. And you'll see a little box that Today. is trying to help figure out what word you're writing. It's trying to predict. I want to go for the word today. I don't know. To, ooh, 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 d, 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 day. Okay. Today. If I hold my mouse over, if I hold my cursor over a word, it will speak. Today, Tony. If I move it down, it says the next word. Toddler. I like today, so I'll move my mouse there and click it. T today, and. Now it's trying to guess what the next word would be. Today, well, today is Friday, so I'm going to write that. I, I put an it in there. Is, is a. For. Look at that. Now it's guessing and predicting what word is which. There's also a number next to the word, so you can hit your keyboard number three, and Friday will come up. Friday. When you're done with a sentence, you put a period, and it will read the whole sentence. Today is Friday. What's nice about that is it helps a student who has trouble writing listen to what they've written to see if it makes sense. Okay. That's a basic about... Um, Word queue. I hope you use it with struggling writers. You also have some options up here. If you go to options, you can change the way the program predicts words, like the number of words you can change uh, on your box list. You can have more than five, less than five. You can um, put them in alphabetical order, but most likely words are the way that this program works the best. All right. You can also Check or uncheck predict words based on creative spelling. I like that checked. Take a look at these menus uh, and see if that will help you. One other thing I didn't show you. Um, let me go back to the word Friday. I hold my cursor over the word Friday. This program will also give you a usage example. Watch this. Friday. I think Friday. it's night. No. I thought it was turned on. It'll actually put the word in a sentence. Friday. I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Friday. 
See you again.